Hi, it's Gordon at Averlights. I'm going to take you through the steps on how to use the align function in your console. Taking these row of beams that I have in this particular show file and saying my designer would like a nice smooth fade in between red and blue. I can either worry about trying to mix all, the, all of those colors myself or I can use the align function to do that for me. If I take that first fixture, I can use my attribute bank and say that I would like this one to be red. I know what instruction I want to give those last one, that last fixture in that row, so I'm gonna say blue. I can now give instructions to all of these lights in between. So I've selected these fixtures from the left hand side to the right hand side. ML menu is a button on all of the consoles, including on this Titan One interface. If I say ML menu, I can then tap align fixtures on soft key D. What's gonna happen then is all of these fixtures that I selected from left to right beforehand are gonna go red. So they're currently waiting for an instruction. When I'm in this align menu, I can click on this fixture because I'd like to use this as an instruction and then click on this one because I'd like to use this as an instruction. I can then work my way down my soft keys. At the top, I've got a button that says align. I've then got a mask that I can use to apply a custom align if I would like. Soft key D is a toggle switch in between spread attributes and repeat attributes. I wanna spread the attributes out in this scenario so that it makes a nice smooth fade from red to blue. If I tap a line right now, it's going to make this nice smooth fade from red to blue for me. This particular show file, I've got a lot more beams I can use. Knowing that a line is gonna follow whatever order I select these fixtures in, I can select them from left to right the whole way down. I can then apply it this spread that I have put on those first set of fixtures over all of these other ones. I'll go through the steps again. I've selected them from left to right. I can then say ML menu, align fixtures. All of those have gone red and I can now choose what instructions I'd like to use. So I'd like to use these fixtures that I made that color fade on earlier on as my instructions. I'd then like to repeat those instructions rather than spread them even further. I can now make myself a nice little set of gradients across my entire rig. A line is not limited to just working with color information. With these two fixtures that I've put some position information with, I can then select the fixtures in this rig from left to right if I want from right to left, if I'd like. I can then go through the steps again. ML menu, align fixtures. All of these have gone red, so I can now choose these two fixtures as instructions. I can then choose repeat attributes so that it repeats these two position bits of information. I can use this mask to exclude other things so that it's just working with position. As Soon as I tap align, I've now got a nice gradient effect across my rig and I've got a nice set of positions in there as well. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.